hierarchy charts are a great way to explore the data in Envivo. So I've got a project here and I'm going to show you how to visualize it. This is looking at the foods you should be eating whilst breastfeeding. What I did is I went online and I looked at lots of articles about what you should be eating whilst breastfeeding. So lots of different blogs saying different things, but I want to know what are the most common um, recommendations. So I've gone ahead and coded up. So we've got, um, you know, we've got dairy drink things, drinks, fruit and veg, etc. I've just gone through and I've coded everything up as normal. Now, how do I visualize this? So I just click on hierarchy chart in the top left and it's under the explore panel of the Mac Vivo. And it's just popped this up already. I don't have to really do anything, but just go through, um, I'm gonna say, I'm looking at coding for nodes rather than sources. If I go for sources, you'll see, you know, this is, you know, which blog posts have got the most bit of coding. So breastfeeding 101 has got the most and five foods to eat has got the least, but hey, I'm looking for codes. And I can select cases. Um, I don't actually haven't got any cases in this because it's quite a simple analysis. But if you've got cases such as you know, industry reports or um, brochures, something, then you, you can go by that. Hey, I'm going for all nodes. And then code that, you know, go for all sources. I could knock out some. So let's say that we had these ones are like populous blogs and then uh, I'm going to keep it like that. These are just people writing things. I've knocked out NHS, which is the health one. So I could say what's um, most recommended things from that, and then do another one for most recommended actual health professional. But hey, I'm going to keep it like that. So yeah, I'm going to keep it at all sources. This is it. And this is a really excellent way because hierarchy charts let you zoom into data. So we can see that fruit and veg is the number one recommended thing. Um, meat and fish is pretty good, but it's, um, actually all nodes is not quite right because I actually don't want all nodes. Made a mistake. I want foods to eat, which is this lot. Hey, there we are. That's looking better already. You see how easy it is to switch around. So anyhow, um, we can see that fruit and veg is the best stuff to eat. Um, lots of spinach recommended by a very big box. Avocado, someone's mentioned that, but not very much. We see that nuts and oil and brewer's yeast is there, but it's not particularly big. Herbs and flavors are important, but again, not that big. Um, so it really goes, you know, what's the most common thing, easy to find. What's also great about the NVivo version for Mac is I can click on something like fruit and veg, and it opens this up, and I can really see everything very clearly. Whereas in the large crew, um, there's a whole load of things around here which I couldn't read. So let's me explore. You might also have some things which are within. Now if I double click here, it doesn't open up the um, coding like you would expect on um, general nodes. So if I want to actually go and see who's recommended leafy greens or fennel or papaya, I've got to go back to my own nodes, go to fruit and veg and say, right, there we are. Double click there and now it's kicked it out. So there is a slight um, issue with that, but hey, it's really easy to use. Um, only other thing you can play with is colors. So you can say color by coding references, color by hierarchy, which is an important, but coding references gives you an idea of how many times it's been done. Color scheme you can play around with. Um, these kind of blue shades actually look much nicer to me, but I find multicolor much better because you can see the difference between the categories. You can go for item colors and bits, doesn't really do that much. So that's only if you've gone ahead and added um, item colors within your properties. Like, you know, we've got red one there. So yeah. Anyhow, that is um, Hierarchy Charts for Envivo for Mac. I hope you find this useful and help you find this um, good for exploring. Oh, one last thing. If you click on Sunburst, you get this really amazing view. And you see how it splits down. It's the same data but displayed differently to the tree map. And of course, summary is giving you the raw numbers if that's what you want. Um, I always use the tree map because Sunburst looks nice. And again, you can click on it and it zooms in. I just don't find it as useful. Whereas with the tree map, you just see it and it's great. So anyway, that's everything for now. I hope you find this video useful.